So training day today, coming off of a very horrible level two performance. I'm gonna be posting up my match video. Um, I didn't do any vlogging during the match because I went in um, kind of thinking, hey, I'm gonna focus on the match and it didn't quite <laughs> help me at all. So I'll be adding commentary to the video, just add some color to what was going on. Um, and, you know, my thoughts on, you know, why I didn't do too well. Uh, but, you know, stay tuned for that. Today, I'm going back to what I was doing for a very long time, and that's in Live Fire, is working on stage skills. And what I mean by that is I set up, you know, something like this, like I got back here where I have multiple positions, and I'm going to run it like a stage. Um, my thought here is that I need to use Live Fire to uh, kind of test all of my skills put together as if I like as if I'm running a match and then those areas that I find weak or things that need work then I will focus that isolated skill in dry fire um, I kind of moved away from this and I think it's not helping me at all to do more isolated stuff in live fire because I don't shoot a lot of matches so this is my opportunity to test all of my skills combined in a in a pseudo match setting and then identify those things that are weak um also one of my last videos that i posted um was about you know the pr process mindset versus results mindset in training one of the things that i'm trying is i'm using old targets and i'm not pasting them so again it will i'm hoping it'll prevent me from really just honing in and going look at targets and, oh, look, I had a Charlie here and I had a Delta there, you know, and really paying more attention or pushing myself to pay more attention to the individual skills, the fundamentals as I'm running the stage. So for example, grip, um, vision, transition accuracy, those kind of things. So see how it goes. So far, what I'm seeing is two things. My index is off, and I'm not really being visually patient with uh, the sight pictures on target, and I'm just shooting. So those reps were much better. Um, my index was a little bit better. Um, the first two runs when I was transitioning across the barrel, that was a little slow and I think I'm over confirming on the steel. Like I'm waiting for audible, like the ding to confirm the shot and then move over. So over here, the gun was really ready to come off. Coming into this position again, I ran in with the gun down and then I brought it up. Um, so I had to pay more attention and like what my cues are. So I should be coming into that position with my gun up. And here I should be about two steps into this position. I should already have the gun up aiming through the barrel where the I expect the popper to be so that when it's there, I can shoot a lot sooner.
much, much better, especially the transition from there to there. As soon as I shot that second shot, I just went over. I think I can start shooting that target sooner. Just not visually patient there. Um, I'm just seeing the dot is not stabilizing on the steel. It's just kind of streaking and I'm firing. Solid 896. So my fastest run so far have been in the eights, like high eights, eight and a half, 896. So that was just as fast as my fastest going the other way. And I'm retreating. So very good, very happy with the transition here. Um, the transition onto the steel here. All of the transitions were really good. Coming in, I had my gun up, aiming where the steel should be. And as soon as I got that stab I stabilized and the dot was there, I fired and transitioned over. So again, process. Grip was good too, so. So I think I can move a little bit more on this guy and I need to stop like be like not so far walking across like just kind of leaning a little bit start my lean but I'm more uh, patient on that. This was good, that was garbage. I was just firing when my dot was anywhere down range around the target. So coming into this, I wanted, so my previous run, my first shot here was 190. I wanted to start shooting sooner, which I did 174. But that first shot, I don't know where it went. I think it was on target, but I'm not sure. All right, so that's pretty much it for today. Ran out of ammo, got some good reps in, tried to stay very process oriented. So some of the things that I picked up on, grip, I need to be more attentive to my grip and dry fire. I gotta continue to work on that. Really, again, feeling those cues of the pressure on my support hand against um, the grip of the gun. That's like, that's when I know I have a good grip on it. Uh, the other thing that I'm noticing is coming into positions, 
uh, my, my dot is just all over the place. So I got to kind of, I haven't been working on position entries and I think it's starting to show. Uh, my dot is just not stable. Sometimes it's not even in the window. Uh, so I got to focus on that in dry fire, do some simple position entries at home. Um, and then the last thing is just really just staying visually patient. Um, there were times where um, I was just doing this thing that I do where I'm just looking at the targets and if I just see the dot anywhere in my field of vision, I'm firing anywhere around the target. And really what I need to do is I need to understand the level of sight picture that I need to make a shot and be patient and wait till that happens and not allow my stupid ADD to kind of kick in and go oh, and just fire a fucking shot. So let's go down range and just look at it. I Again, I didn't look at targets at all. Um, so I know I plugged the no shoot quite a bit when I was moving across, um, but we'll see how, how it looks. Let's take a look. And again, this is just kind of to see, to confirm what I was seeing when I was shooting. The shot shouldn't be too bad. So this one is good. And so this one I was trying to shoot on the move during one of those, uh, one of the stage plans. And that's where, like I said, my dot is not stable enough. Um, so that's kind of what I was seeing there. And it's probably these low shots, maybe some of these high shots. Um, over here, you'll see, I did plug the no shoot quite a few times. Boom, 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 boom. And again, this is just not really looking at a specific spot and making sure that my dot is stable. Like again, this is almost, you know, this is like four inches. Um, so I should be looking like here. And when the dot is stable there, I should be firing. Not when it's just streaking up and down and not just looking at this whole brown area. Um, this one is not bad. Again, uh, like I was saying, coming in on position entries, but overall you can see mostly alphas. I had four deltas, um, but again, it's part of the process, right? This one is the furthest target, which is from different positions. It's either about 15, between 15 and 20 yards. Um, so you can see again, pretty good. Um, at least for me, like I was seeing a good, most of the time, good side pictures, alpha Charlie's, um, like I have some of these low shots, but I have a tendency to concentrate my shots down low, even when I'm aiming up here and I'm not seeing that again, no real patterns, maybe just something to the left. Some of them are concentrated more to the left, but nothing no real specific patterns that inform me that I'm doing something consistently wrong. Um, so that's it. That's a wrap. Good training session. Um, kind of got out of my funk after that last match. Honestly, I went through the five stages of, of mourning. <laughs> um, and this is really what I needed. I needed to just start shooting again and get reinvigorated, get motivated and put that 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 performance passed me and this really helped out it was a good therapy session all right till next time guys thanks for watching